I've only got seven minutes on this. Oh no! I only have seven minutes of storage on this phone. You're joking. I like the quality of this phone better, so if the quality changes, you know why, okay? Cleansing the space and cleansing anybody who's watching me. May all of my energy be transmuted into powerful messages for the collective. May my energy be received with ease by the generation of Saturn and Pisces and all of the other generations to comprehend what this energy is really truly like and what the purpose is for it. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Peace, my darling beloveds, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emerald. If you are new here, welcome. This video is very, very special and near to my heart because it is a powerful time that we are moving into and I am able to be a powerful channel for these messages. So I'm just so full of gratitude and um, yeah, make yourself comfortable. We're going to be talking about Saturn and Pisces, the energy through the houses and what the Saturn and Pisces energy truly means from a true spiritual perspective and not just a studied perspective. The sun right now is like, yes, it's cloudy, but the sun is still just egging me on. All right, baby. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I talk about all things spirituality, holistic living, astrology, herbalism, you name it. I am the all. And this is exactly what I want to talk about in today's video. Being born of the Saturn and Pisces generation. So you will have been born between these years right here. And this makes you a very, very, very powerful spiritual healer. Even if you haven't tapped into it yet. You know what's wild is as I'm filming this video, Anybody being born now and after this video is going to be born in Saturn and Pisces again Even though Saturn does not come around into Pisces more than 30 years So this is going to be an incredible shift for this generation and for the next generation that's currently being born right now Crazy to think crazy to think so I want to get right into it. What is Saturn? Everybody always paints Saturn as this really, really sad, depressing energy. And let me tell you from firsthand experience, it is, okay? Because it is structure. It is foundation. And sometimes to build and lay those blocks of foundation, it's going to take discipline, consistency, and perseverance. And not all of us have so much energy to keep building, 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 which is really why I want to focus on water energy water. Saturn is in water when it is in Pisces. And what does that mean for people with Saturn in Pisces or with Scorpio or Saturn in Cancer? It means that Saturn is literally flowing through the water and cannot build a steady foundation. So this is very difficult for people with this placement to have no sense of self sometimes, no sense of direction, and no sense of how to build. Water is creative energy. Water is intuition. Water is nurturing and very destructive. Water can be very flowy. Water can be very, very heavy. Water can be everything. Water molds into its environment. Water is mutable. Water is really incredible, but Saturn is a little shaky here because Saturn is straight architecture, beauty. When you're thinking about Saturn, you're thinking about the earthly beauty that surrounds us. We're talking about the Fibonacci, we're talking about the sacred geometry, and when you look in water, it's like a completely different world. If you listen to any water documentary, they're like, oh, I feel like I've entered into a new world. Quite literally, water is not the same as Earth. Even though water holds some Earth, what water does to Earth, no other element can do to Earth. Like, water literally turns stones into the most beautiful crystals and can chip away can chip away chip away chip away at earth and that's what water does is it cleanses and it purifies and it chips you away until you are at your purest state which is the state of oneness and this is Pisces energy Pisces energy is the conscious collective oneness. It is you and I are not separate. We are all together because we were made by God. That is exactly what Pisces energy represents. And Pisces has a difficult time being in the real world because it realizes that it's a part of everything. And time is an illusion. This is the biggest, oh my. 
Okay, my camera literally died at that exact moment. I'm freaking shook. I'm freaking shook. But I still have it, okay? This is actually part of being Saturn and Pisces energy. You gotta learn to go with the flow. Things just stop suddenly. Things just fall apart suddenly. And you gotta keep going with the current, okay? Ooh, yes. This... i this off, actually. It's a Virgo thing to do. I cannot. I am recording this on a Virgo full moon, so... There's that. So the number one thing about Saturn being in Pisces is realizing that you are a collective spiritual healer. You are meant to be here right now to quite literally shift the vibration of this world. Pisces is the sage. Pisces is the sage. Nobody like wants to really talk about that. Pisces has been through it all. It has shifted through it all. Do you know what that means? This means that you are quite literally shifting karma we are breaking karma in this lifetime and it hasn't happened for years like for so long we're breaking very very long generational patterns if you notice in your family this isn't just something that may have come up recently this is something that has been going on for a very very long time and you are here to see it and let it go like let it like bring it into the ocean to be purified that's exactly what saturn in pisces represents is you're bringing things from the earth into the ocean to be purified and to be chipped away this is why it can be really difficult sometimes living on earth and the only things that we really get pleasure from are true earthly things like my plants like i'm obsessed with my plants like i'm a plant mom you know i don't have animals i don't have children because there's so much karma that i have to clear up it's actually not even funny so I'm gifted with plants and plants are actually very protective and I think as a Saturn and Pisces wherever that is in your chart it's important for you to have plants around you at all times because plants protect you and plants help to purify as well. I made this really cute tweet right here and this tweet is a representation of how I feel our structure is as a Saturn and Pisces generation. I feel like we are a flourishing algae or kelp garden and that we should allow fish and beautiful creatures to like flow make home swim in you know nurture themselves like this is who we are we are the master nurturers being saturn and pisces our foundation is in water which means that we have to flow we have to be ready for destruction at any time and we have to be ready to rebuild at any time we are fully the full package like we are the full package we're the full roundabout we have this really serious structured energy ready to build at any time which is saturn and we have pisces which knows that it's god which knows that it's the one which knows that it's connected to all so it can literally bring all into existence so this is why we're so powerful and this is why we probably have been having a lot of like depression issues so i'm gonna go ahead and pick a collective card and you know what's amazing again this generation being born right now as i'm speaking is being born into the saturn and pisces generation and they're gonna have to go through this too their their energy is gonna be different from our energy because we have conjunct neptune we have the pluto in scorpio energy like come on now Come on. Yes, look at this. Ace of Pentacles. And look at that. It looks, and now, like, I feel like there's, is there water back there? Like, I almost feel like there's water. I know it's sky, but as I'm feeling this energy of, like, purifying Earth with water, this is excellent. This is why we can achieve so much abundance, but we have to be willing and ready to release it to be purified. A lot of us probably want to, like, hold on to our wealth, or a lot of us probably feel like we don't have enough. A lot of us feel like we're always broken down and, like, we don't have enough, but you always see how it comes at the perfectly right Right time even though it can be so annoying for it to come at like one specific time but that's the time this is our true nature oh my goodness i love this card i've been seeing this card a lot i'm like in love the fact that this is the message for us we are our own garden this is it this is our own garden that's what i'm telling you we are the full package we are the water we are the earth we nurture everything and through water there's movement and through movement there is change shift magic and bringing to life things what is oh transmutation transmutation is like the thing that we go through like we are the transmuters so yeah you can get this because some people can get this and then they don't know what they have 
have they don't know what they're worth so they end up with no money after all they spend all their money after all but we have to realize that in the end it'll always come back to this because we realize that we are god and we are a part of the conscious collective and now we're putting structure into that how like is that who who else can know what we're doing tell me tell me the Aquarius, Saturn, Aquarius, yeah, y'all are cute and stuff, but come on now. We are the spiritual sages. We are the, like, the, the everything, the atom, the cell, the nucleus, like, we're everything. Pisces has been through it all. We are everything now. We are every element. We are every sign. We are everything. Like, oh! I wanted to choose an inner child card for us as well because I know that a lot of our inner childs, like we didn't get the chance. Yeah, we didn't get the chance to be who we wanted to be. Look at that. Do what you need to do because we have to realize that sometimes our families are going to be the ones that are needing the transmutation. Obviously, it's not just the world, but it's our families, like our inner families, like who we were born into. Like you're probably the black sheep. You know you're different than the rest of your family you know you different right okay do what you need to do and step into that angelic frequency step into that spiritual frequency and be who you are supposed to be embody the person who you're supposed to embody because it's for a purpose listen what is it that we want and what is it that we need can be two separate things and when it is so it is often the difference between self-indulgence and self-care reflect upon the difference between these two in your life and ask yourself if they have meant the same thing to you and how this may have impacted your journey look at that what it is that we want and what it is that we need we want to be a part of everything we want to help everybody we want to be so close with everybody but what we need i feel like i'm going to church right now what we need is isolation yeah pisces energy okay saturn energy isolation it's isolation to find yourself again, to find the purity within yourself again, okay? When you're going through a purification process through your whole lifetime, like this isn't just sometimes, this is for, for us, for our generation, this is every day. Every day we are finding something in here, in here, out there, to purify, to transmute, to change, to see from a different perspective now that we know that we're God. You know what I'm saying? So give yourself, <laughs> There's no time here. There's no time here as time. Oh, this is, is this the part? This is the part where I left off, yo. To Saturn here, Saturn in time, there is no time because Saturn has come back into the oneness. It's like Saturn has stopped its orbit around the sun and has completely dissolved back into the universe. Yes. This is what it is to be God, to be oneness, to be connected to God, to be connected to your source, to be connected to your spirit, is to realize that there is no time. There is no time underwater. You, if you can breathe, you're fine, right? And we're Piscean, we can breathe underwater. It might not be the best, but Saturn is building us a great structure, a great city underwater to thrive, to change. And this water is like safety. Because if you think about the ocean, like, yes, it's so polluted. There are still so many places in the ocean that humans have not discovered. And that's like Saturn and Scorpio energy, yo. Like, they be in the dark. They be in the dark. Okay. But as Saturn and Pisces, like, we're the little mermaids chilling, trying to look up at the castle. No, okay, we're staying underwater. We're staying where it's safe. Because honestly, like, underwater is safety. And you can hear things better underwater. Like, you can hear a lot of things underwater. You can feel things underwater. You can feel the shifts and the currents. As a Saturn and Pisces, you're a very sensitive person. Saturn and Pisces generation, we're very sensitive people. Like, to the touch, to the mind, to the heart, all of us, like, our intuition is on a thousand. And number one, like when you disrespect that, when you disrespect that and you have the bad things happening to you and you're not clearing karma, but you're building on more karma. So you need to make sure that you have a spiritual practice. This is definitely number one for Saturn and Pisces. Your spiritual practice needs to be number one because this is your structure. Your structure is your spiritual practice. Your structure, your discipline lies in being able to self-control.
being able to control yourself, being able to know yourself, being able to quite literally manipulate any part of yourself because again, you are the sage, you are the master, you've been through all the zodiacs, thus you've been through the entire body. Now we're at the feet. Y'all ever had problems with your feet? I love to go swimming and the only time that I'm in water is the only time that I feel safe to be myself. When I'm walking on land, it's kind of like mermaid energy, like I'm a mermaid on land. We're mermaids on land, man! And we're healing people with this sacred water Piscean energy that they have no idea what's even going on and like we have no idea what's going on because we forgot. But this is, I'm, I'm reminding you. It's such an honor for me to be the channel for this right now. I'm channeling these messages for you, for us, and for the future. Like this is kind of wild. Needless to say, I'm now gonna go through Saturn through all of the houses. So check your timestamp below. But honestly, don't. You should listen to all of these placements so that you know what all of us are going through. If you meet somebody else with a different rising sign, then you'll be able to know where their Saturn is and how you can help them. How you can help them come back into balance with their godlike self. Let's start with Saturn and Pisces in the first house. So if you are a Pisces rising, hello. I bet you're gonna love this. Look at my cute little grinder. It's rose and pink, right? Cute. This is my favorite lighter. The other one says, take me with you. Now that, that was special just for you guys because I know what it's like having Pisces in the first. Because of the Capricorn, Neptune, Uranus influence, I have Neptune in my first house because I'm a Cap rising. Pisces, Saturn in the first house. Lots of discipline issues, lots of get out of bed issues, you're feeling lazy all the time, you're feeling like overwhelmed. Yeah, Pisces in the first house with Saturn, like a lot of overwhelming feelings your whole entire life. And it's just been really, really difficult for you to get through like the days, like people don't understand, like you're so sensitive, like you're extra, extra sensitive and having Saturn here, it's just like, you judge yourself because you're sensitive. Others may judge you because you're too sensitive because you seem like you have it all together. When you have Saturnian influence in the first house, you seem like you have it all together, but obviously like we're in water here. That's what people don't understand. So I understand for Pisces risings that with Saturn here, you could feel like you are forced to be a leader even though you don't want to be a leader because Pisces are more on the sensitive, chill, receive side. You know, like this is the energy that we were just talking about Pisces, like the sage. And you don't want to have to go through all of this transmutation energy over again. But in your first house, it feels like you have to focus on that all over again. Like you feel like you're living, you feel like you're almost living the same life. Damn, that's really tough. That's really tough, y'all. But if you are, then Pisces Risings, you need to help our generation then. It's kind of like your job since you know what it's like to be in this situation, like to be the true speakers, the, the true spiritual leaders of this world, like to be the true ones who move us along so you might have to be the leader the spiritual leader but you can do it in your way you can do it in your piscean way you can lead us the water way and now that i've explained to people you know like what the water way is they they might be more susceptible or more willing to listen to you pisces risings because it can be hard for you to get your voice up or your voice heard you've been dealing with so many self-consciousness issues your whole life just like feeling so sensitive all the time being feeling like you have to over speak like right now the freaking blower is going and i feel like i'm yelling at you even though i'm pretty sure you can't even hear that but i'm just gonna let it pass this is what we have to do you just have to let it pass sometimes and like take a breath okay so i'm just gonna do this Pisces Risings, I want to remind you that it's okay 
to stop, take a breath, and do things on your timeline. Because here, Saturn, there is really no time. So allow yourself to fall into divine time. And allow yourself to be patient, to wait, because you know that the waves will always carry you to where you need to be. If you have Saturn in Pisces in the second house, oh my gosh, so do I. And it is not cute out here. It is not cute, all right? Our money is seaweed, basically. It comes and goes. It flows and it flows. And it flows. But that's all right, right? I think the number one thing that we need to learn here with Saturn and Pisces in the second house is that number one, our money is coming 100%. Okay. The ocean is so abundant. The water is so abundant. Our waters are pure and abundant because we have Saturn and Pisces in the second house. This isn't just about money. This is about how we value ourselves, our self value, like what we make to be our value, right? So Saturn here is allowing us to construct what we want based on what we don't want. Yeah, have you all learned that lesson yet? Learning things that you don't want and then you really see what you do want. That's definitely Saturn and Pisces in the second house. It's allowing you to see your value through the items that you have, the items that you've accumulated and the people that you've attracted to yourself. Mirror mirror energy because we know that the second house is ruled by venus and venus loves what the mirror it literally looks like a mirror the glyph of venus so quite literally looking at yourself through your surroundings do you love what you have around you are you in a safe environment are you in a place that you can be sensitive because again we've got pisces energy here in the second house now mine's cusping the second and the third house so this is why you know you can watch both to know where pisces energy lands for you all together if you're using the placidus system but truly it's incredible to see like how the value system shifts through time as well and through experience like you just learn how to value different things and you learn to let go learning to let go of people places experiences traumas that have happened to you the karma that has happened to you in your mind you're holding it in your heart you're feeling embarrassed you feel guilt you feel shame all of those things are saturn and venus you know second house energy so learn to let those things go learn to value yourself learn to take care of your money and you know if you want to count your little seashells count your little seashells i love counting my money i love checking up on my money i love checking up on my credit score money loves me and that's the thing when we speak it into existence there it is especially in water form we should be the most abundant we should be the most abundant and it always seems like people are like oh you're rich and like i got these things at goodwill i got these things gifted to me these things are things that we find because we know how to be frugal we know what it's like to have only 200 dollars in your bank account for like a month you know what it's like to be at your lowest low 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 so when saturn comes allow him to bring in the abundance that we've been waiting for the abundance that maybe has been over in tahiti you know we're talking about the ocean here and it's finally come over here to us okay so just be receptive be receptive at all times when you have saturn in the second house do not be so freaking hard on yourself i know that it's hard to always like have self-confidence you might self-doubt all the time but you have to recognize that you are a master and you have venus energy there we're talking about the master sign the master builder in the house of venus y'all playing it right we can't be broke out here we are the richest we are the most abundant but we see the value like what do we actually value we value spiritual items we value spiritual things like spiritual readings like i have hella cards and crystals and everything but you're probably not going to see me with a lot of stocks because those things are kind of confusing to me and the saturn also brings your awareness to things that are confusing to you as well like things will confuse you when it comes to money money will be muddled and stuff like what is going on so much confusion you know what i'm saying in all the houses remember confusion is there confusion is part of it because we're in the water and it's misty sometimes it can't always be clear water it can be salty water you know so yes that's pisces in the second house go ahead and like i said like this video subscribe i freaking love doing these things i'm gonna move on to pisces in the third right now Pisces in the third house. What's up? Capricorn risings. Yes, 
that is us and like i said you could be on the cusp like you can have saturn in the second but pisces can be ruling your third house that's how it is for me so definitely if you have pisces ruling your third house and if you have saturn in here 100 percent your voice <laughs> your voice is key okay your voice is key your voice is key in the second house 100 percent, because literally um, the second house rules the throat but the third house is ruling your mind and now that you know how to use your throat you're using your mind and now it's coming out of your throat right so now it's like okay i i was singing in the second house but now i am teaching people now i am learning now i am making words in the third house so here <laughs> it's a little muddle all right pisces all right but saturn is gonna make you the most studious motherfucker you're going to have the most beautiful mind, crystal clear. You're going to want to learn about everything. You're going to want to learn about spirituality. Oh my gosh, that'll be your number one thing is to learn about spirituality. Definitely your surroundings, like your neighborhood needs to be safe. You need to feel safe um, because you're very sensitive. Your, uh, your brothers and sisters, your siblings could have Pisces placements. I know for me personally, my sister has Mercury and Pisces. And the way that we communicate is just like so weird to be honest like I still don't get it but we do it like what that's water that's water that's Pisces energy so when you have Pisces in the third house you are a great communicator especially spiritually you speak to people on a spiritual level they may not understand you their mental logical mind but they sure do understand you on a subconscious soul level so you could literally speak life or speak death into people you could bring out the best in people because you're speaking to them on a subconscious level you could hypnotize people who could hypnotize people Pisces in the third house. I love y'all for real. Keep learning. Keep meditating. Make sure that you're doing your spiritual practices. Like that's key. That's key for this Saturn return. Key, key, key is making sure that you're open up to learning new things. Making sure that you're open up to exploring your mind on a spiritual level. Like no ego. Let that ish go. We're in the ocean. We're Poseidon. Like you are the queen. You are the king of your mind already. You have this beautiful garden in this ocean. You've got to let it flourish with things that you put in it to grow. Don't let anybody else contaminate your ocean. You have to put things into your own mind in order for it to grow how you want it to grow. Like and subscribe. Pisces in the fourth house. Ah! Okay, Pisces, Saturn in the fourth house. Yo, I cannot imagine y'all's home life was probably so rough. And if it wasn't rough, then it was filled with the most bubbly love ever. Ah, must be nice, but I'm pretty sure it was the first one, okay? Because Saturn here really wants to bring in, like, you got to be your own person. This is where you really felt like you had to be a leader in your own household. You feel like you definitely had to be a spiritual leader in your own house. Your parents probably wanted you to be more mature, and especially with our our parental generation. Our parents didn't really have a spiritual foundation so if you didn't have a spiritual foundation in your fourth house then it could have been really really difficult for you to grow in that house to to be able to thrive in that house because you felt so sensitive and you felt everybody else's emotions and you picked up on everybody else's emotions all the time if you didn't have a place to release that it really could have built up in you so i think the key for this saturn return for you is to recognize where the karma is because there's definitely going to be karma here no matter what with saturn and pisces so in the fourth house you know you got karma like you know you got karma to clear up don't even play with yourself you have to sweep that karma up and let it out if you haven't in the past 28 years you've got to right now because saturn is expecting that from you he's expecting you to clean up your household he's expecting you to be the leader of your household of course but now have this newfound compassionate compassionate foundation and not so strict and structured and angry and bitter you don't want muddy waters in your house you want clear flowing waters in your house so when saturn is here you're gonna feel bitter you're gonna feel angry you're gonna feel like resentment but you have to clear it up with the pisces energy you have to remember that you are an endless stream you are an endless flow and you are the prime nurturer the prime nurturer oh my gosh fourth houseers seriously you already know that's cancer energy the prime nurturers do not let saturn degrade you instead let saturn help you build the foundation that you actually want like and subscribe saturn in the fifth house 
Oh, Saturn in the fifth house. Oh, my babies, you've been deprived of joy. Oh my goodness, you've literally probably been deprived of joy. So you just, you're, you're probably in the house all the time. Oh my gosh, Saturn in the fifth house, Pisces fifth house, that's already water. And how you enjoy yourself is by laying around laying around <laughs> and doing whatever you kind of want to you know doing drugs doing art watching tv escaping you already like to escape so with saturn here in the fifth house you're probably guilting yourself because you're escaping so much oh my gosh i cannot imagine the push and pull between this house this this here in the fifth house okay so you probably have friends you probably have friends that you like to do things with you know um escape with but you need spiritual friends you need to make sure that you're making good spiritual friends friends that will keep you on track spiritually because your spiritual practices like what you like to do like your hobbies and things like that is found here with saturn so saturn is building you a structure of your hobbies which is great which is really really great but the other side of Saturn, which we know is like depression, escapism, like you just don't want to be here, like you don't like to do these things. So just remember to keep a balance and try to stay focused that Saturn is here to help you build what you already like to do. So whatever you like to do already with your hands or with water, you're, you're just like watery people, you know, in the fifth house, this is like your pleasures. This is just what you like to do. So with Pisces here, you just like to escape. You just like to chill. Um, so if you love to watch TV, maybe Saturn can help you build a really nice TV stand. You know, do something. Do something with the energy. And make good Capricorn friends. Capricorn friends are going to also help you build structure in your little daily life things that you like to do. Like and subscribe. All right, so Saturn in the sixth house in Pisces. Wow, Saturn in the sixth house in Pisces. Wow, wow, wow health we already know health 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 is number one for you and you could have had some issues you could have issues with like with your feet anything like that saturn here is like restricting your daily routine so you're probably really hard on yourself all the time to like get things done treat your co-workers like this go to work like this you probably think that you have to be so strict but inside of you you're like I hate this. Oh my gosh, I can imagine the push and pull. Like I'm telling you, the whole Saturn and Pisces generation, it's so like hard for us just to like fit into this world because we feel like we have to be of service to everybody. And that's the sixth house too. Like you're of service to everybody. Oh my gosh, Pisces here, come on. Like those are sister signs in that house. Like you're just giving, 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 giving of yourself constantly and like it's probably wearing you out like saturn is asking you to build stable boundaries yes saturn is here to help you build those boundaries baby because you want to give 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 that godliness okay do it sure but you better make sure that you've got it through the barbed wire that they're paying income tax you know what i'm saying like you cannot because your service is different your service hits different when you got pisces and saturn in the sixth house your service hits different like you are the one the one serving like the master server okay so you need to make sure that you know your value and that you put yourself you you can actually put yourself on that pedestal i'm giving you permission like you can be the one putting yourself on that pedestal because if you don't protect yourself you're gonna outgive yourself and you are like the number one giver like if you know anything about being in service it's you it's you know how to be of service to people you know how to give compassionately without expecting anything that's rare that's rare now okay you have to recognize that your generosity is rare and i bet you've just been expending it the last 28 years the last 30 years of your life i know that you've been expecting it but saturn return is asking you to now build up the boundaries with saturn here build up your routine build up your health routine get your health your body right you already know get your body real right the way that he wants it because if you don't build it your humanly form like make it your own personal humanly form so that you just feel so healthy and well and magnetic at all times. Because if you don't feel healthy, how are you supposed to serve, number one? And then how are you supposed to serve the quality? Because you are quality, so you need to be of quality, okay? 
that's that's all saturn has to say here straight up like and subscribe saturn in the seventh house saturn in pisces in the seventh house oh my babies oh my gosh ah oh, y'all have probably been through so much in your relationships don't even play with me it's probably been so heartbreaking oh my gosh because we've got this this gentle kind pisces here and then saturn just wanting to make structure out of everything just wanting to build something out of nothing you know saturn always wants to just make something out of nothing and the thing is with relationships you could just be expecting a lot from people you could be expecting a lot from people like all the time because you give so much because you have that capacity to literally give your whole heart your whole soul your whole love to somebody that you need that in return and if you don't get that saturn immediately sees it and is like mm, not worthy pisces is like oh no like I we are all one I love you but Saturn sees that this can hurt you karmically especially if you're dealing with karmic relationships <laughs> get them out yo this Saturn return get them out get them out get them out because you want to build up the good karma you want to make sure that your garden is clear fresh pure and flourishing for your true divine love and if you have saturn in pisces in the seventh house you have a soulmate coming for you come on now come on you you've been clearing up fine but you better remember you got a soulmate coming for you 100 percent so make sure that you are completely pure for this soulmate make sure that you are everything that you want your soulmate to see in you and vice versa you know what i'm talking about because you are a master chameleon you are a master of molding into other people seeing their own structure seeing if it's stable enough for you and if it's not then you know but sometimes you want to hold on because the pisces is just like mm. but saturn is like having this conflict your whole life is not a problem it's okay the right one is coming for you i want to let you know that like in your relationships people come to you because they need to be cut off and released this is karma clearing this is the lifetime that we're in right now remember that always it's not about you it's about what you're doing for the whole universe okay you are the god clearing these karmic relationships there is somebody for you. Don't worry about it, okay? Make sure that you're giving your heart, giving your love, seeing if people are pure. It's almost like you are the one, like, weighing people's hearts and the feathers before they go to die. I swear, like, that's definitely eighth house. So, yeah, shifting into the eighth house, too. Make sure you like and subscribe. Eighth house, Pisces and Saturn. You are definitely, like I was saying, like, you're 100% going to be weighing that feather up against the heart. Like, who is pure in your life? Who has shown you the same compassion that you've shown to them? Who, because you can see through them, especially with 8th house. Again, oh my gosh, we're in the depths of water. So Scorpio energy and Pisces energy and Saturn there. Oh my God, we're building structure in the underworld. You're building a structure in the underworld. Do you realize that? You are completely powerful. You are completely magnetic. If you want to be, you have to step into that divine feminine dark energy, which you probably already are. And I bet you Saturn has brought you a lot of dark thoughts. Oh my God, with it being here. Listen, I've I've definitely had like those really bad thoughts, but y'all probably have them on a very consistent basis. Eighth house and 12th house, Saturn and Pisces. We got to take care of them in the fourth house or two, the, the Saturn and Pisces that are in water houses. That's like water on top of water, you know, like it's already quite a bit of water. So that energy there can be really, really overwhelming. So I'm definitely looking out for you. I see you. Saturn Pisces in the eighth house. I see you. I feel you. I'm an eighth house. Like I get it. I know that the things that you think about can be really like detrimental at some point, but Saturn return here is asking you to build structure around boundaries. We need boundaries again. Yeah, this is all about boundaries because Pisces is so giving and compassionate and in your love life, especially like in your marriages, you just want to give your all. You want to be the all. You want to be the one. 
And you can't do that with Saturn here. Saturn is telling you that you need some type of boundaries because people will take advantage of this energy because this energy is unlike any other. You don't understand like Pisces energy is the mystic. Scorpio is the underworld. Scorpio is the the knowing of the dark. But Pisces has already been through Scorpio. Pisces already knows about Scorpio. Pisces is his own thing. We have to remember that every single time. So when you're in here, you're deep in here. Like I see you like swimming in here. Stay tight, all right? Somebody message me and get a reading or something. Like I'm gonna offer free readings to people with Pisces, Saturn in the eighth house. Like for real, like I will give you a free reading because that is intense energy. And I just wanna make sure y'all are literally like alive. Okay like and subscribe <laughs> moving on to saturn in the ninth house saturn and pisces in the ninth house you're probably feeling like you've gotten your joy taken away and that you have to spend your life studying or you're like worthless you feel like your knowledge is deeply connected with your self-worth and you feel like when you try to express yourself to people they they look at you like you're crazy because you are the deepest of deep thinkers. You've got Saturn here creating structure in what is already knowledge. Like we're, we're this is the spiritual house, right? We're talking about the ninth house. We're learning about religion. We're expanding our minds. And you've got Pisces here, water here, the sage. And then you've got Saturn trying to build a structure. So you are brilliant, brilliant beyond all means. Like literally like, hello, nice to even meet you. Saturn and Pisces in the ninth house, brilliant, brilliant. Your spiritual studies are so important. And during the Saturn return, you have to make sure that you're building your altars. Yes, I had so much joy building my altar for Saturn and Pisces, like the energy, build your altars, make sure that you're meditating make sure that you're writing especially saturn and pisces in the ninth house you guys are writers you guys are meant to be writers you're meant to be speakers spiritual speakers like speak out speak up especially for us oh my gosh i gotta open a window it's hot oh my god especially for the wise sages you can definitely find them here if you have saturn and pisces in the ninth house 100 percent. make sure that you're living next to water saturn really wants you to travel somewhere with water so that you can purify yourself, so that you can feel clear, so that your channel can be clear for the spiritual messages that are going to be channeling through you. So make sure you're taking good baths and drinking good water at all times, 100%, because that water is directly connected to your mind, directly connected to your source, your source, your spiritual source. We are walking mermaids i want to remind you we are like literally walking mermaids on land and we forgot and like we need to find our way back to the water so that we can remain in that place of constant knowledge you know water never stops and in the ninth house you probably always want to get new information you're always interested in stuff you're always interested in learning something different never let that go never let anybody take that fire out and never let even saturn because sometimes saturn can get really hard on you saturn can be like and even pisces oh my gosh pisces can be like you're overdoing you're overthinking you're overdoing this you're overdoing that and saturn can be like yeah you're overdoing this or you're not doing enough of this just try to cut the noise and remember that you're god you're connected to god like you are god's child like you're just learning you're just here to have fun you're here to learn and you're here to expand don't ever forget that like your house that Saturn made should be really fun. You should have slides and swings and shit, you know? It should be all up in that joy, that joy of learning about the oneness and make sure that you're telling us, our generation, like what we need to learn. Because through your, your knowledge, through your connection with Saturn, it's gonna be powerful, powerful stuff. Like and subscribe. Saturn in Pisces in the 10th house, whoa. Oh, yo, in the 10th? You in here, Pisces? Are you all right? Yo, Pisces, Saturn, I'm telling you, like, y'all just want to, like, crawl away. So you're definitely a mystic. Like, I consider myself a mystic. We are the mystics. But this is your real personal face, you know? I have mine on the first house, but you've got yours quite literally here in the 10th house with Pisces and Saturn in the 10th house. So quite literally... 
you having to express to the world your spirituality. Like, people are naturally going to be hypnotized by you. People are naturally going to be drawn to you, and you're not going to know why. And Saturn, you're going to get bitter sometimes. You're going to get angry sometimes at people for, like, not being compassionate. Or you are the one who really sees the wolves in the workplace. Oh, my gosh. You are the ones who see the authority abusing in the workplace you see the abuse in everyday society you are the ones who see that and you don't only see that like you feel it like we're talking about pisces like we're feeling things too so whenever you feel heavy like you feel heavy just like random days and it's like you turn on the news and you see like 40 shop you know what i'm saying like they always put out the negative stuff and Saturn is asking you here to build a foundation on what you're going to bring to the people because you already see what the news is like. What's your news going to be like? What are you going to tell to the people? Like, what are you going to show up and be to the people in their time of need? You need to be their spiritual guru. Like, quite literally, like, you don't have to be a number one old guru. You, and there shouldn't even be gurus. It's just us recognizing that we are God. And it's just us recognizing that there is oneness. And so Saturn is asking you to build strength structure around this oneness that you're bringing to people if you're not doing spiritual work why aren't you doing spiritual work like if you're not doing spiritual work you got pisces in the 10th house what is you doing <laughs> like what are you doing like are you working at a factory like what are you doing no you need to immediately get into some type of spiritual compassionate heart-centered work or like be a professional diver like i would accept that if you're in the ocean every day i accept that but if you're not doing some type of spiritual work in the 10th house then you are totally off path and saturn is going to ask you to come back to the spiritual path because you will be taken care of i know that all of us have this fear around money but don't forget we're in the ocean it's never ending it's a flow it's a flow it's a flow so when your flow comes ride the wave don't forget like you're not forgotten like don't forget about yourself like all these messages are just like flowing through like crazy like y'all really need to hear this like pisces in the 10th house y'all have forgotten like who you are you are the spiritual teachers you need to be out there you need to be working with the ninth housers like you need to be working with all of us all of us need to be working together but really you're the one who who's up on the hill and you're saying this is me this is the representation of saturn and pisces generation you're the representation of us and you're not doing your spiritual work come on now come on now you should be the main one talking about i am god i'm a goddess I'm this, I'm that. You should be the main ones talking about all that. You better be. Like and subscribe. Saturn and Pisces in the 11th house. This is amazing for the groups. Like we're, we're talking about groups. If you have not seen my group house video, definitely go check that out. It is such a good video. I'm talking about the 11th house and the 5th house and how you make friends and how you are in your groups. So you specifically are very important when it comes to groups. If you have Saturn and Pisces in your 11th house, you're very, very important when it comes to groups because you are the one who is going to see where the structure is failing. Number one, Saturn got the glasses on, right? Oh, immediately sees, immediately sees like this isn't going to work. That's not going to work and that's not gonna work okay so you can come off that way in your groups like people can be like oh she's a bitch she's this but no your pisces compassionate self you're probably a freaking over giver so you probably try to give too much of yourself trying to overcompensate for the things that you see falling apart oh my gosh like sometimes you feel guilty for seeing the things that are falling apart sometimes you don't want to tell people like oh like this isn't gonna work like oh that's not a good idea because your pisces self is so like we're one and i'm gonna feel what he feels yes you're gonna feel what he feels but what you need to start focusing on is feeling the change we're in the 11th house here this is this is uranus this is aquarius we're changing and pisces cannot stay stagnant here oh my god yes these messages are like wow you cannot stay stagnant here if you're with a group of people and you see where they're lacking in any way this is your superpower. You have to go tell them like you're lacking in this way. You will progress the group deeper than you know. You're clearing karma in groups, in groups of people. That's that's powerful stuff. So you have to like 
unshield yourself yeah spirit's asking you have to kind of like take off the shield i know as a mystic like you need to protect your energy at all times at all times protect your energy in these groups because you're you're working with so many different energies yes but now you need to step up as the spiritual leader and show people the way if it's a spiritual group especially you know the way like you have the right mindset like you've been doing this your whole life unaware you just get into groups of people and you're like yeah i think that we should do this and spiritually like my intuition is saying this and, and sometimes like you're, you're gonna learn a hard lesson like saturn is here to teach us hard lessons so with friends and groups you've probably gotten like exiled and like dissed out and like you're stupid why are you saying that like you know like this whole group mentality you really see a different side of the group mentality when you have Saturn and Pisces in the 11th house. So don't ever forget that you've got the power to see the truth and things might be a little bit cloudy for you. Yeah, but you have the clarity that Saturn brings to build structure in a spiritual group specifically. Like and subscribe. Last house. Ooh. Oh, the last house. Oh my gosh, Saturn and Pisces in the 12th. Saturn and Pisces in the 12th my loves y'all yo i know y'all go <laughs> don't y'all don't even have to tell me i don't even know if any of y'all are watching this video y'all are probably in the same asylums you're probably in the hospital somewhere probably in the mental place somewhere because you've been losing your mind oh my goodness saturn in pisces in the 12th house your subconscious your deepest hidden unknown self Saturn trying to build structure in a dark, dark place, in a dark pool of water. Whoa, Saturn is like scared here, yo. Like, <laughs> this is straight up Pisces realm. This is the Neptune house. This is Saturn has like walked through and sees no return, yo. You're constantly scared. You're constantly on alert. Oh my gosh, you live your life through fear. Oh my gosh, there's just so much confusion. There's so much what if. There's so much I can't see. Oh my gosh, I can feel it. Like if y'all are watching this, I'm offering free readings to the people who have Saturn and Pisces in water houses. So if you have Saturn and Pisces in the 12th house, the 8th house, or the 4th house, literally hit me up for a free reading i will give you a free reading and i know somebody's gonna claim it somebody but if you're watching this and you're a 12th house there with saturn here like you're heavy okay like all the time and i'm just telling you it's just because saturn doesn't like to be floating through space he is like floating and like really confused like hasn't quite disintegrated yet hasn't quite become into the oneness yet and you're constantly just like aware but not aware oh it's so confusing in here i'm confused right now this is insane y'all definitely need to make sure to write down your dreams write down any messages that just come to you in the day because you know that you're constantly connected to source you're constantly connected to source it never ends and you probably love to escape like i know you'll probably love to do those drugs god but you are the drug like you already are the drug oh my god like you are a drug to people too like you are a drug to people <laughs> i'm telling you right now and if anybody has ever done you wrong their karma with you oh no 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 because even though saturn is like floating through space has no effing idea what's going on you're still living this life and you're still your subconscious is still hearing and seeing everything that's going on so it's like saturn has like no control but he's still seeing everything going on like you're still aware of these things in your subconscious and through that subconscious is going to ingrain into your DNA and move on to the next level. So you need to make sure that you're doing DNA cleanses. You definitely need to be in the water doing showers, spiritual baths, living near the ocean. You damn well might as well live on a boat. You need to because you need to purify yourself in water. This is the number one thing. Like we need to be on land and we need to be on water at the same time. So like ground your feet in the sand, in the water, okay? Like just cleanse yourself. 
in that way because here it's not your fault it's just like what i keep hearing like it's not your fault it's not your fault like saturn is just really confused here so i know that you've had a really tough life full of confusion and it's not your fault it's just the, like the planet doesn't know what to do he's like literally just floating in space like do you realize that your structure is has like no control your structure feels like it has no control oh my god i'm like really feeling this for you wow 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 i just feel like so much like mental anguish so much mental turmoil here like i don't even know if anybody with this placement is actually watching because like how can you live with a placement like this like wow this is intense 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 you just have to be the observer is what i'm hearing like you have you have to be the one to surrender surrender has to be your freaking motto like there's no way there's just no way that you can survive in this world without surrendering. If you even try to take control of a situation, it doesn't work for you. It never does. You have to surrender. Like, this is a really interesting placement. Like, I've never felt so much. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's just overwhelming, like, sadness, which Saturn brings, and, like, Pisces, and it's, like, endings, and, like, having no control, and it's not fun, and... Especially, you know, the opposite of the 12th house is the 6th house. So you're going to have Virgo here. And Virgo, you want to control your everyday, you know, daily tasks and stuff. But you still, for some reason, feel like you have no control. And this is why, because Saturn is in Pisces in your 12th house. And this is your structure. So it's like, no matter how much you try to, like, build up stuff, it'll just go away, like, all of a sudden. <laughs> No matter how much you try to like go to the gym or like be healthy or like do this, do that, it'll just, you'll sabotage yourself. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Saturn and Pisces in the 12th house, reach out to me for a reading. I'm like not joking. I, I can't channel this energy anymore because it's like pulling me in. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I love y'all so much. Keep having the faith, keep pushing through and I'm here for you, okay? Like and subscribe, like and subscribe this video, like and subscribe, keep watching these videos, yo. That's it, that's, that's the whole video, peace.